What's up, slasher psychos, and welcome back to the Lucid Nightmare. I'm your host as always, Jay Schatzer, and today, well, I have a fascinatingly weird one for you guys. It is William Nod's 1982 Just Really Strange Horror Slasher Flick. It is Who Done It, and this one is beyond bizarre. So let's get into the weirdness. Here is Who Done It. Who Done It, aka Island of Blood, is a strange and unusual early 80s slasher with a heavy satirical tone and an unexplainable weirdness that permeates every crevice of this highly obscure flick. With bizarre characters and an even more off kilter presentation and plot, this production defies logic as it throws one red herring after the other at its audience, all the while boggling the mind with its silly yet brutal death scenes and abundance of overacting madness. Nonsensical, deranged, yet surprisingly entertaining. Who Done It is an interesting experience to say the least, and one that takes the staples of the slasher genre and just clumsily goes all in into weird and unusual territory. The film follows a movie cast and crew as they begin prepping for a low budget movie to be shot on a secluded and mysterious island. Once there, the crew begins to be bumped off one by one by an unseen killer all to the tunes of a new wave pop song that replaces its lyrics with the murderous mayhem that begins wiping out the actresses and actors of the picture. With nowhere to run and little places to hide, can anyone survive this film shoot from hell on the island of blood? Completely bizarre and altogether loopy, the cast and crew of Who Done It is an unusual one to say the least, with little to no decent human beings among them, all led to the slaughter in the most asinine and peculiar of ways. Taking the tried and true formula from other more well-known slasher flicks, the lineup is a stereotypical farce of familiar tropes and 80s archetypes that possibly delve too far into the realm of obscurity, making for a comical approach to the subgenre and an entertainingly weird cinematic experience. The weirdos, psychos, and sickos of the picture are Janine Marie as Lynn, a queen bitch diva with a busted leg and a busted sense of morals. G. Rocket Phillips as Taylor, a doom and gloom doomsday obsessed musician whose predictions are about to come true. Mary Elise Reckhasner as Donna, a fresh-faced innocent who's primed to meet her maker. Rick Dean as Jim, a mentally disturbed miscreant who's nothing short of a maniac. Terrence Goodman as Steve Faith, a hotshot producer and two-faced opportunist. Barry Subur as BJ, a gorgeous yet ghastly actress who couldn't act her way out of a wet paper bag. Jim Piper as John, a jokester nerd and overly sensitive sissy. Ron Gardner as Franklin Flem, the artsy fartsy director of the movie and overall pervy douchebag. And finally, Jared McVeigh as Bert, the weirdo caretaker of the island and unabashed creep. Ludicrous across the board, the cast of Who Done It is a cinematic disaster of epic proportions, making it insanely entertaining to watch in that Z-grade lowbrow cinematic sense. Nothing but pure 80s schlock here, which surprisingly is the biggest asset of this totally bizarre, silly slasher flick. When it comes to weird 80s slashers, Who Done It, aka Island of Blood, takes the cake for the most unusual of the bunch. Sloppily put together and confusing in parts, it's a strange film to peg down. The inclusion of having the kills accompanied by a pop song that describes what's happening to the characters is an odd decision, and one that makes the film come off as more of a comedy satire hybrid, rather than a traditional 80s slasher flick. Even though the concept of the kills are silly, the effects are rather well done, and the different styles of deaths are both creative and surprisingly brutal, from scalding hot baths to simple tried and true chainsaw mayhem. The film is an odd duck to say the least, but it does still manage to entertain through its entire runtime, and for an 80s slasher production, that's really all you need to do. The location is interesting, the kills keep you on your toes, and the characters are all as wild as they come. If you love obscure horror flicks and ones that slip under the radar and march to the beat of their own drum, then you should definitely get a kick out of this silly horror mystery. In the end, Who Done It, aka Island of Blood, is a weird and wacky 80s slasher flick that, though not the best of the genre, still manages to maintain with its farcical approach and totally unabashed brutality. 
And there you have it, freak shows. That is the silly, entertaining, and ultimately fun, weird slasher flick. That is Who Done It. Just an oddball flick, to say the least. Um, yeah, it's just plain weird. Characters are weird. Premise is decent enough, but it's just the whole execution is just really strange and off kilter. Definitely check it out if you love those kind of weird, obscure flicks. But guys, that is it for me today. Hope you enjoyed that one, and I hope you like what I'm doing here. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you have time, leave a comment below because I love to hear from you guys. But until then, I'll see you in my next movie review. Take care.